Hello, Hello nerdlings. nerdlings! Well, you see the boxes behind us, so you know it's another comic book pickup. What? I thought it was toys. No. No? Quick, what's your favorite comic book sound effect? Splurch. Splurch? It just sounds weird. <laughs> I think I'll have to what go with... Deadpool? Didn't he say my body's never done splooch or I think something before? Splort. Splort. And he goes, ooh, Try my body's never that done that. <laughs> But uh, I think mine is definitely the snick. I was going to say, most people like the snick. Wolverine's snick, snick yeah. Even uh, Jay and Silent Bob, he was all like, snicky, snicky, snick. <laughs> all right. Well, this time around, uh, we picked up some more comics. In the past couple of weeks, months, uh, we've kind of just been building up piles and everything to share with you guys. We've hit up a lot of sales. A lot of buy one, get one free sales. Yes, and uh, something that was actually really nice with the buy one, get one free sales, they included the graphic novel collection. As long as they were used. Yes. So that being said, we picked up a graphic novel of Doctor Who comics, and we picked up the number one, one, and then... We picked up number two. ba -doo! So we got two and one. How about that? And it's my favorite Doctor. Look at that. So uh, we have actually seen a lot of the Doctor Who comics. And other than the ones from pre-comic book day, we've actually never picked any no, up. No, because we didn't know if we wanted to venture into that. I mean, it's one of those eventually, especially now that we're really getting into the comic scene, we might now start picking them up. But yeah. we figured this would be the best way to do it because it collects them all together and that's the way I've originally started getting into comics was I had he bought me a Phoenix one um, for the Dark Phoenix saga so that I didn't have to go find all those comics and that's what I like about these books is you don't have to go find them when they're in, you know all over the place art's very good at yeah um, I have noticed that with Doctor Who comics though in saying that the art can vary and here's a great example actually it's very much a different style mm -hmm. so yeah definitely a, a cool way to start getting yes. into the doctor who comic book scene since there's a lot of comics and a lot of doctors to get through a lot of now uh some of our random pickups uh you've actually been picking up a lot of the grim fairy I do. tales i do and so i picked up one myself i got the vampirella fairy tales because Very i thought pretty, it might be pretty nice. art <laughs> actually that's why i've been picking up the grimm's fairy tales is because the art in them is very pretty but i have noticed that every single female is well endowed <laughs> quite voluptuous very uh, very storybook yeah a lot of fantasy there yeah. and just real quick to go along with this vampirella um another youtuber had posted his comic book pickups a while back and he had got Vampironica and I had to get it because I love this cover it's so cool I love mm -hmm. seeing this vampire cheater leader Veronica and uh or Vampirella I, I don't even know which one it we is we haven't had I guess. a chance to read it yet which is why we haven't picked up the number two which is out now but uh we did just decide to but to it was it. it was really neat looking and of course in Archie comics they've actually in the past couple of years I think they've been having a lot of fun doing weird things they have uh, they killed off Archie and then brought him back as a zombie I think that so, was a good idea all kinds of weird <laughs> stuff but anyway I picked it up just because of the cover it was just great uh, very cheesy and pin up -y, so couldn't resist I know nothing about this comic. <laughs> I will just be right up front and say it. But I thought the cover, again, you know me, covers. I just thought it looked really, really cool. I don't even think this falls into Marvel or DC or anything. I was trying to see if there's something I could pick up <laughs> off of it. But anyway, is it Celestina or Celestine? Anyway, it just looked really cool. Some cat chick in battle armor, you know, women's battle armor back in the day. It was, you know... <laughs> Cover this, cover this, cover that, and you're good. Yeah, well, that's the only places people are shooting arrows <laughs> yeah, at anyway. Apparently. But she just looked really, really neat. She kind of reminded me of um, Tigra a little from uh, Marvel. And is it the uh, the Thundercats girl Tigra also? Uh, Chitara. Chitara. I, couldn't, I thought they had the same name. Oh, but anyway. actually, the funny thing is, I believe, and I may be wrong, I'll have to double check future Tom, but I think Tigra is the man 
and then Chitara is the woman. So it's and, kind of funny yeah. that there's a, a man and female Tigra. Yeah. But anyway, it kind of reminded me of those people, but I just thought she was it was just a really pretty cover. So I'm very interested to open it up and see what's actually going on in and there. Nothing wrong with picking up a comic based on the cover. Nope, it's I found it at a flea fun. market and it was like a dollar. So I was like, hey, you know what, for a dollar, <laughs> I will totally check it out. You know, uh, speaking of of fun covers and jumping back to the Archie thing, <laughs> check out this Back to the Future with an Archie variant cover. Yes. I'm a sucker for anything Back to the Future and the fact that it's the Archie game. <laughs> and look at the car. <laughs> look at the time traveling car. It's that's ridiculous. That is totally awesome. <laughs> but uh, it looked like a lot of fun. And yeah. I was like, oh, that's just a fun cover, so why not? So that was pretty great. Something else that I have been obsessed with for a really long time is the TV show Charmed. Absolutely love that. And we were at a comic book shop recently, and he was going through the discount bins and came across a couple Charmed ones for me. So I was like, <laughs> hey, yeah, for 50 cents, I'll totally get me some Charmed. So I have a couple novels of Charmed that um, I had I enjoyed reading, and uh, the thing I liked about it was that it wasn't an episode turned into a novel. It was like its own episode, so it was kind of like you got to continue the story. So that's what I'm hoping the comics are like, because I was actually very disappointed in the Supernatural um, anime, because it was basically they took the episode and turned it into anime. I wanted something new. I didn't want to rewatch an episode I'd already seen because it has nothing to do with the fact that it was anime. It had everything to do with the fact that it was an epi the episodes just animated, and I didn't understand the point yeah, of that. Yeah, that's very weird to do that, especially with the realm of anime not having some of the boundaries of you know special yeah. effects and everything. But uh, you know, really have some fun with it, do something new and fresh with yeah. it. But yeah, that's very odd so that they chose that. That was what I liked about the charm thing. It was it was like you got a brand new episode. So. Well, uh, it's not a TV show, but uh, who remembers Bill and Ted? So here they are on their excellent adventure, or their excellent comics. And this is issue number one. You got Rufus sticking yeah. his tongue out there. but And hey, they're getting ready to redo that movie. Or not redo the movie, but have do a, a, third one. a third movie. So, so why not grab the comic <laughs> now and... Uh, Before it shoots up and I'll have to read this one to see if I want to go after any more. I have seen a couple more at our local flea market, but I just wanted to get the first issue just out of five. I always kind of want to get the first issue. So, who knows? Maybe could be the next best thing. Yep. And again, here's another one that I know absolutely nothing about it. Here, let me actually pull, pull some of these out. But some of the art in here, it's just, just really pretty. I told the but, you know, it's it's just as, as pretty as what's going on in there. You know, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just, just really pretty. I'm probably going way too fast for future Tom to be able to zoom in. But I was trying to, trying to go through it really fast and everything. But, uh, again, I don't think this falls into Marvel or DC or any one of those. I don't even know what the, what, it, the, there's like not, not even a title <laughs> on the front of it. It's just so pretty. So, actually... I would like to see if anybody cosplayed as her. That would be really pretty. <laughs> well, definitely have to start with a name. Yeah, we got to figure it out. Anyway, I just thought that one was really pretty. Um, I picked up a couple of uh, video game ones. I had an issue of Dragon's Lair, and I managed to find another one. Uh, this is kind of a just a fun series plus Dragon's Lair. As I've said before, it seems like that game made it to every conceivable system. <laughs> and uh, every conceivable, just like obviously, Tetris. medium. Yeah, so figured why not go ahead and pick that up. And as a true gem, I found the very first issue of Captain In, the yeah. Game Master. Um, I believe we had issue number three yeah, already. So. Fun fact, everyone. I dressed up as Captain In for Halloween one year. Oh, we'll have to see if future Tom can squeeze a picture <laughs> in. But uh, it was it was very cool to be able to find this, especially since it's issue number one. Mm -hmm. um, I had another, or I have another comic. It's called Nintendo Comics Systems. Mm -hmm. And it would have various comics. So there was a Zelda one, a Mario one. It, there was even a Punch-Out one in that one. punch -Out! But there was also a Captain <laughs> N comic in this. And it kind of felt almost like... Uh, it was almost like a comic book version of a demo disc. It gave you samples. <laughs> and then it went on to, you know, the other like series. like free, free comic book day? I, I guess so. <laughs> but... Uh, Valiant did a Legend of Zelda comic series that we have as well that we'll have to get out and show sometime. Mm -hmm. 
So this was a very neat find, and hopefully we can find some more of those. Yes, definitely. And again, here's another one of those. I just thought the cover was gorgeous. Again, beautiful art. Um, I believe the inside is, is the same. I think it's actually the same series because the back is is done the same way. So I think it's the same um, in the same line. So, but you know, again, it's just, it's really pretty, really colorful, all kinds of fun stuff going on in there. So again, like I said, I just thought the cover was absolutely gorgeous and that's why I went with it. <laughs> uh, we did pick up some some fun comics just real quick uh, for one weird reason or another. We got the first issue of Elvira, which, you know, we were just saying that, of the dog. that the grim fairy tale girls were, were very unrealistic and here we are putting up a, an Elvira comic. Hey, her pumpkins are real. <laughs> she often talks about her pumpkin patch and the pumpkins are real in that pumpkin <laughs> patch. <laughs> but we came across a, an interesting one called Catman Do, and the artwork is kind of neat. It's almost like a uh, it's like, like a, a brush stroke yeah, type or of chalk. art style. Yeah, it kind of looks like chalk, like. And of course, the the color. interesting thing about this is right there it says adults only, and I flipped through it, and it's it's very tame. I mean, there's like well, maybe it's nineteen seventies porn. There's like a topless <laughs> kind of topless scene. But uh, still, it's it's very tame compared to you know some of the stuff out there. Is it NC seventeen or PG thirteen? I would go more PG thirteen nowadays. PG thirteen. Back I in think. the day, maybe not so much. But uh, I will say, this is tame. However, this one is not. Do we uh, need to star off the front? Is it okay? <laughs> I, I think it's okay. It's okay. We can't show you the inside of this one. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> but um, of course, Penthouse is an adult magazine, and they had a short run of comic series I believe for a while called comics with that X at the end and Ooh, obviously it was edgy. very it was very adult oriented I mean it's it's straight up a porn comic but it was kind of an impulse buy just because you never see stuff like this out in the wild uh, for obvious reasons yeah I'm sure we and, actually talked to the guy who has these and he said he's afraid to put them in his yes mood. and for good reason too yeah um, and the nice thing is if you're curious, this one actually came in the original packaging. It had never been opened, so <laughs> that's good. But yeah. uh, the thing is, it's it's always fun to find like just weird comics, yeah. you know, whether it's something for like Dragon's Lair, and it's like, wow, you know, I never knew Dragon's Lair was so big that they would make a comic out of it, or Elvira, you know, it's like, yeah. all right, I guess she has a comic. It just goes to show there's comics for everything. You're like Dragon's Lair almost feels like Kiss. They put their image on everything. Dragon's Lair stuck their image on everything. <laughs> and the last uh, very random comic was this one, Hollywood Zombie Apocalypse. There's uh, some great faces in here that yeah, are zombified little, uh, too. Breaking Bad cameo there I think. There's some other ones that we recognize. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it was like on the It might have been the, another issue because we've yeah. come across a couple of these. Yeah. But again it was just kind of a random impulse yeah. buy because it's like okay. Um, that was a buck. Whenever... So. Whenever I think of Hollywood zombies, I think of Zombieland. Oh, love that movie. <laughs> Emma Stone. Although, she's a, with a brunette or black-headed. You gotta go back to being a redhead there, Emma. The last one that I have to show off is, y'all know I love my Red Sonja. I showed you the Funko Pop of Red Sonja. Well, this is a steampunk version <laughs> of Red Sonja. So I thought that was kind of fun, because I've I've never really read any of the comics of Red Sonja, but this... There's a whole series of steampunk Red Sonja, and it, it, again, she's, you know, you really pretty art, but I just thought it was kind of neat that they did a steampunk. They don't do steampunk anything now, I feel like. I, I think so. <laughs> but, you know, I thought, hey, why not? Give it a shot. It's that number three, a, so I'm not too far behind. That should be an internet rule. If it exists, there's <laughs> steampunk of it. <laughs> there probably is. <laughs> and the last one that I picked up for a buck, uh, it's issue number three. I would have preferred issue one, but... This was the only one that I saw in, uh, uh, I think I went through four or five boxes of yeah. cheap comics. You've got to have patience to go through those bargain bin ones because there's a ton of them. But I remember <laughs> Battle Chasers from back in the day, and it actually surprised me when there was a Battle Chasers game coming out, because I, it is Battle Chasers, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I second guess myself. But... Uh, it surprised me that a game had just come out based on Battle Chasers because I never really heard anybody talk about it. Yeah. So I thought it was a comic that kind of 
drifted away. So since there was a game kind of in honor of that and then remembering it, when I saw this, especially for a dollar, it's like, yeah. all right, I'm going to pick that up yeah. just for fun. And I think I think your Grim Girls may still have her beat. I don't Could know. Could be a close call. I don't know. That might be you a close call. You'll have to put some Grim Girls here and Elvira here Honestly, and let you guys decide. Honestly, at least my Grim Girls look a little bit more natural. These literally do look like oh, two well, cantaloupes yeah, just, just stuck right there on top. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, that was kind of our random mishmash of comics. These are ones that definitely we have to pick and choose which box they yeah. go into yeah. uh, because they don't really fit in any place. Still fun reads. To yeah. Know. Uh, very fun reads especially going off of the cover because that cover draws you in yeah and you don't get to be sit a, down and see if it's a series that yeah, you're interested don't in. be shy that's how the grim series was the grim for series you. yeah actually it was one comic uh van helsing it was um and i was like really van helsing that's grim's fairy tale <laughs> but it pulled me in and then i started looking at some of the other comics and i was like oh this one's cool because there was like a jasmine one and jasmine's my favorite disney princess you know and then there was like he likes wizard of oz and we, there's some wizard of oz ones so it would just kind of started like a snowball effect. But the point is, you know, sometimes you just see cool covers. Yeah. Grab it. Uh, that Vampironica, it might be a lot of fun, actually. So I'm um, looking forward to reading that to see if I need to go out and pick up the next issue. Yes. And in the meantime, we definitely want you to give this video a like if you liked it. Uh, leave some comments down below about any of the weird comics that you've picked up ever recently, long ago, that you used to have. Maybe there was something hidden in here that, uh, you know, an old series that you had yeah. completely forgotten maybe about. Maybe you didn't know Red Sonja did steampunk, and you're like, hey, I love steampunk, I love maybe, Red Sonja. Maybe you like Zombieland too, and you're like, Hollywood Zombies, I'm there. But uh, we're always putting new videos up, yes. so if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can check those out. There's a notification bell ding, ding, that ding. sometimes lets people on YouTube know when there's new <laughs> videos. Otherwise, uh, just come back and and check because we'll probably have something new for you. And follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, like us on Twitter because we always like to post some pictures on there. We always like to let you know what we're up to, what we're doing. Um, I always try to let you know that something has landed over on the YouTubes because <laughs> sometimes the YouTubes don't let you know. And we always try to let you know. <laughs> I don't know where, I was going I don't with know where she's going with this. <laughs> I know where I'm going. I'm going to go read some comics. I'm going to go figure out what the pretty comics are. So let's, let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, hide that penthouse. I think we're going to start from the beginning. Watch Kevin get sucked into it. Video land. I'm going to go read this freckle queen. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Oh, she's naked. <laughs> <laughs>